What's up everybody? It's Danny from the Constitution State here today. I hope everybody's having a good day. Today's video is coming from the Willamette Police Department and they show how far this police department will go to keep people from simply speaking up, from simply exercising their rights. No violence, no nothing, just words, just unhappy people exercising their rights. Third Thursday in Willamette is where Main Street shuts down and vendors come out and people from the town come out and it's for families and children. Well, this man says he was assaulted by the police at Third Thursday last month. Willimantic, what was supposed to be a relaxing and fun event held last week turned out to be a trip to the hospital for a man from Lebanon after he was allegedly shoved into a wall by a Willimantic police officer. This article also involves no real information, who the police were, none of that. James J. Rose, who was a trans man, said he and his friend were sitting on the stone wall outside of town hall sometime between 8.30 and 9 p.m. when he saw a male in handcuffs with two police officers around him. Another kid took off running and I felt the situation escalating, Rose said. I did not get involved, though. Rose said a second person was standing off to the side watching the altercation. She was completely upset by her friend being handcuffed, but was completely nonviolent as one could be. Rose said two cops came up to her. Cop one grabbed her by the arm and said, you're under arrest. Rose said the girl was put into a chokehold. Now, the reports of these two people getting grabbed up, too, are minors. Out of outrage at the display of police violence at a community event, I approached the incident, and with a foot or two distance between us, I told the cop, you don't need to handle her like that. That is when the cop turned and looked at me as like I was nothing but a speck of dirt in his way. With the entire force of his body, the police officer shoved his hand over my face and shoved me backwards on the pavement and stone wall. Rose claims neither of his hands touched the officer or the girl. I rolled backwards, hitting my neck on the pavement, and my neck went sideways against the stone wall, Rose said. Rose said after falling, two officers came over telling her to calm down and said they needed to get her off the pavement. I scrambled, clawing at the grass with everything I had in me to pull myself back up to the stone wall. Rose said, I firmly repeated, get off of me and back up while genuinely fearing for my safety as I clawed my way backwards. Rose said the officers involved had their hands on their guns. I was scared that someone else might have ended up getting hurt or even shot because of the escalating situation, Rose said. I came to third Thursday to have fun. Due to the extent of the injuries, Rose said he was in the emergency room until 3.30 a.m. According to hospital records provided by Rose, he suffered from a head injury and cervical pain. Currently, Rose is trying to obtain an attorney who will help him file an official report against Willimantic Police. The act of shoving someone to the ground by the face, not the shoulder, not the chest, but the face is inhumane, Rose said. Besides the fact of shoving somebody or touching somebody that you have absolutely no right to touch because they don't like the way you're manhandling a child. Rose said he wants to make sure nobody else gets hurt. Well, unless something drastic changes in Willimantic, it's going to continue to happen because the police department doesn't care. They back these actions and they back these officers. Why do you think they haven't released the officers' names yet? Why haven't they released the body camera footage? Because they're actively trying to cover it. Third Thursday was something I loved for many years, but I will never be able to attend again and feel safe, Rose said. But this goes to show what Willimantic police officers will do. They will assault innocent people. They will arrest innocent people simply for speaking up speaking up against their violence, speaking out against them, and they will try and criminalize it. Even though they can't, they're not smart enough to know they can't, so they do. I mean, how many times have they ever asked me now for speaking up against the way they're treating people or for searching somebody they're not supposed to? I mean, I've been arrested three times, and that's not including all the tickets and other stuff I got. This is what they will do to try and hide how corrupt they are. I've attached a bunch of videos which show blatant rights violations, cops lying, and the extent that they'll go to to try and get people to simply stop talking about what they're doing. Good, how are you? Can I get your name badge number? No? Because I asked you and you talked to me. I'm pretty sure it's in your policy to give it to a member of the public when they ask. I'm sorry, what did you say? It's probably in your policy to give it to a member of the public when they ask. You talked to me. I didn't talk to you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Good, how are you? Mm -hmm. This is just a youth leadership program with kids. So, do you mind just not filming minors if that's okay with you? Um, no, I'm in public and I'm gonna film. This guy just no, broke the law and didn't use his blinker oh, till right when he was. Him? Yeah, okay. I'm filming the cops. I don't care about kids. I mean, I get what you're asking and I will keep them out, but okay. I don't have to. I would but, it. I mean, yeah, you don't no. Have to. Okay, happy. that's Thank all you. I wanted. Yeah, I don't care about them. Good, how are you? 
here. He's here for the Youth Leadership Academy we're doing for the community. Yeah, but that doesn't give him the, the right to break the law pulling in. But he's, he's helping out the kids. This is it's, but that doesn't give you the right to break the law. Doesn't matter what you do. That's your job to work for the community. Oh, yeah, we're here with the kids, buddy. Yeah, so, I get that, but... I appreciate what you do. I can't tell. Nobody's following the laws yet. Well, he's coming to work with the kids, so that negates all the bad that he does. What? Can I get your name and badge number? Lawbreaker? Can I get your name and badge number? Thanks. It's good people we got working with the kids. I thought he was staying to work with the kids. Alright, so that is one of our cars, so I won't take your complaint if, okay. you, wanted, if you want to go this route. Yep. Um, it's your call. You're just no, I'll do it. I, so I got another question. Google told me that you guys have to use your turn signals. The only time you don't Listen, is in extreme I'm, situations. I'm not going to get into a... No, I'm just asking how we can find out Listen, the real answer. Google is not the greatest of all sources. Do yourself a favor. Look up a Connecticut General Statutes book. I will. All right. Absolutely. And then see where it defines police officer. Okay. Because right? it's easy to find. Yeah. Yep. So if you take Connecticut General Statutes. Yep. All right, CGS. Yep. And then find what the definition of a police officer is. Yep. It will show its exemptions within that immediate area. Okay. okay. Yeah, that's um, awesome. I know you're going to have to dig for it a little bit. Yeah. But it will explain the cell phone stuff and the exemptions. That okay. Along with it. Absolutely. All right. Yep. So for this, are you yep. all done with it? Uh. Yeah, it's right. gonna take me about two You're more good seconds. Going out on yeah, your own yeah, no, I got it. I right. got that. You need anything um, else? Or you good? The name and badge number still. All right, so I'll tell you it's a Willamette cop. I'll take the complaint and I'll forward it up to administration. Yep. But everything else you're gonna have to go through freedom of information to acquire it. Okay. So this is one of the biggest clowns that works in the Willamette Police Department. This is after I watched the chief of police driving not following the rules of the road and I went to the department. I wasn't recording the first time he came out and when he came out he told me that they don't have to follow rules of the road. They're exempt at all times. He said Google's not a reliable source of information. I don't know where he thinks Google brings you but it brings you to the Connecticut General Statutes and to this day I've not found one that says at all times cops don't have to follow the rules of the road. That and refusing to give me basic public information like what officer was working out there and making me FOIA wait a month and pay for it. Out here helping people. This is the same spot where they were hidden right there. The cop was parked on the sidewalk and refused to move. And then called me a snitch for going to make a report on him. Hello, Winter. Make sure you spell my name right. Okay, don't worry. Snitches. Take the uniform off, tough guy. Take it off. Where they they said officers can act like that. They didn't do anything. They found nothing wrong with what he did. There ain't no sidewalks here, so I'm crossing. I could be over, here, bro. Yes, I absolutely can. Uh, you can stay behind that sign. I can, no, I can stay anywhere. I, I can stay anywhere I want, bud. I'll tell you what. You can tell me whatever you want. How? What's the What's the furthest? Interfering's physical. Interfering's physical. I'm not. I'm staying here. I'm more than ten feet. I'm more than ten feet. That sign? Are you smoking crack? Are you are smoking crack? I'm staying here. I'm staying here. I'm staying here. I'm staying here. You're the dude. Do your investigation, bro. I want you behind the sign. No, I don't care what you want. This isn't what we want. I want you to let him go with no ticket. You gonna do that? I don't care what you want. This isn't about what. What's the law? What's the law? No, I'm not. You're interfering, dude, with me. Why are you shining your light in my camera? What's wrong with you? What is wrong with you? Are you really on drugs? Because that's how you're acting, bro. So now I can't come closer. First it's this sign, now it's no closer. You just making up whatever you want, bro? Yeah, okay, well that's why I didn't listen, because you don't know what the f you're talking about. Clowns, dude. I made up something, so you have to listen, because I'm wearing a uniform, a costume. I wouldn't have said a goddamn thing. You brought yourself into it, and I'm interfering? That's funny. Hey, hey bud, can I get your name and badge number? Middle guy? Hey, bud, can I get your name and badge number? He just ignores me. I, he's not busy. I've asked him a million times, and he don't give it. 
Hey, I'm busy. Hey, I'm busy. I'll wait till he takes a break. No, him. I need his name, his badge number. Why is he giving it? Why are you being rude? I asked a simple question. Look at your face. You're not being rude. I'm complaining. I need his name. His name. His badge number. Yeah. Why do you have to give it for him? I'm just weird. Usually, usually the officer. I do have a complaint. You're over here harassing the public. Then you want to act like a bitch. The fuck's that? Ask a simple question. Simple question and you get an attitude. I already answered it. Why are you coming over here? I didn't ask you. I asked you already. I gave it already. What's your name, Bachelor? Oh. But you don't have a complaint. You were there for that shooting? In 2013? No. Your name was on it. Um, how you feel? Oh, no, Perez. Wrong yeah, one. Exactly. Okay, just asking. You're a real bitch. I can't believe you work for the public. You act like this and you work for the public? We got this loser who can't even get his name out. We got this lady. They just hire anybody. Anybody. Sad. Shame. You can't just give your name. You gotta have a girl give it for you. That's crazy. That's three times. You got tape up? Well, you got tape, man. I'm not doing nothing wrong. What? Stand back where? Isn't there supposed to be tape up? No, time out what? Is there tape up? Am I in this scene? I'm 30 feet away. You are, but you're giving me bullshit. Orders, I'm man. Not giving you, a order. you are. I'm 30 feet away. 30 feet. So where's the line? Please step behind the bumper of that cruiser right there. And then can I go on that side? The bull. Making up rules. What we do? An investigation 50 feet away. Nah, he just told me I could stand here because I couldn't stand on the other side. I'm not going to keep moving. Yeah. Alright, we just got every record. He can record. He can record. Well, then can I go up there? Because you ain't got no tape up, no nothing, and I got to keep moving. 30 feet away. He's behind the bumper. He's fine. 30 feet away. We got everybody. I just got permission to come over here. And now you're telling me I got to move again. Yeah, because Dominos is one people in the Okay, so I can go back over here. Come on, Miss Come on, Miss Nobody can make up their mind. Over here, over there, ain't no goddamn tape up. 30 feet away from the crime scene. Their investigation. Got the whole department out here for some college kids. This is crazy. What up, loser? This is what you're supposed to do. Actually pull cars over, not make up warrants and lie. This guy's a criminal. 17's a criminal. Dude's a loser. He lies. He writes tickets without even pulling people over. He makes stuff up. That's a real cop. This is America. I don't have to back up. I'm on the sidewalk. I don't have to do anything. Yeah, I don't have to do anything. I'm not interfering with shit. You rolled your window down and started messing with me, you clown. Go ahead. Oh, I need backup. This guy's standing on the sidewalk recording me, and I'm scared. Just saw a cop sitting here. I pulled over. I wondered what he was doing. I came over. He must have been doing what the Willimantic Fire Department guy is doing. So, 10. This is the one that was just at the other laundromat. Let's see if there's any laundry. I can look in the car. I can get as close as I need to, Silva. Don't even, listen, don't start with the directives. I don't start, what were you doing at the line? Why were you doing your laundry? On shift, why were you doing your laundry? What, well, yeah, it is. Clowns, you guys don't take care of your personal matters at home? You don't take care of your personal matters off the clock? You don't take care of your personal matters off the clock? Look at that's his laundry right there. Ha, loser. Don't let him search you. Tell him to kick rocks.
It doesn't matter if you're talking to me. I can say whatever I want over here. Good try, though. I said I can say whatever I want. It doesn't matter. Yeah, I'm not, I can get involved with whatever I want. I can do whatever I want on this side. Yeah, I absolutely can. I can film. I can. I can talk. I can talk. I can talk. I can say whatever I want on this side. Look, I can. You're gonna arrest me over it? You can't get arrested. Are you gonna? Are you for a breach for telling somebody I can't? Did not let you search them? Listen. It's not yelling. I was fine with it. It's okay. I, it doesn't matter. I can say whatever I want here. No, I can tell him. I absolutely can. You want to arrest me and we can take it to court you and find be, out? Do you want to go to court and find out? I wasn't yelling at anybody. I said, don't let them search you. That's not yelling at anybody. Have I ever not been That's a general statement. Not really. When you tried to tell me to stop filming in the uh, Jilson because there was kids around. Do you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. When you were filming the kids. No, yes, I wasn't filming was kids. Weird. I was filming the corrupt police chief that wasn't following okay. the laws driving the road. And that's why... After you explained that to me, we were like, okay, it's fine. It doesn't, and it, well, no, it doesn't matter if it's fine or not. You can't stop me. So it doesn't matter if you're okay. Listen, I'm going to say whatever I want. Hey, don't let them search you. Don't do it. I'm going to keep doing it. I'm going to do whatever I want. And then do whatever you have to do. I'm going to do what I want and what I can. I'm not yelling. I'm not yelling. Oh, no, yeah. yelling would be screaming at the top of my lungs. No, it's Telling fine. somebody not to let you search it. them. Yeah, we're not That's fine. I'm going to do what I want. I'm, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to do what I want. If you do it again, we have to arrest you for breach. Okay. You understand? Okay. Don't let him search you, bud. Don't do it. Stop. Are you serious, dude? I'm dead serious. Right. You're going to find out. Do you have anything on you that can stick to front Do what you got to do. No. I'm not going to answer any questions. It Take it. Do whatever you got to do. Well, then. All right. We're going to put it on top of the car. Please what? Not record you rushing him? Please don't do that. Treat him with some respect. For what? We should translate for him. She's talking to him kind of fucked up. Being real aggressive for nothing. Dude was just hit by a car. Now he's got some lady yelling at him. We can't get a translator here? Crazy. Treating them like. Yeah, they're gonna stretcher, like they do for everybody else. Let's just drag him. How'd this loser end up following me? Yo, you're a fucking loser. You're a bum. You're a bum. Go pull over some more innocent people, you fucking loser. You're a loser, bro. You are a loser. Yeah, you. You harassing the public. You, you. Well, are you gonna arrest yourself? You gonna write yourself a ticket? Did I say that? Did I say that? I said you were a loser. I didn't say I needed anything. I said you're a loser. That's the service. Is there anything I can do for you? Drive away. Stop harassing the public. Stop pulling over people for nothing. Right. Stop searching them for nothing. Stop calling dogs for nothing. Why don't you start there? Why don't you start there? Why don't you start there? You loser. Start there. Start there, you start there. Start there, you loser. Start there. Start there. You loser. Start there. You're an idiot, dude. You're an idiot. You're an idiot, bro. You're a idiot. Do what? I'm 10 feet away, dude. I'm good. I, you can do whatever you want. I'm good. I'm good right here. I get what you want, but I'm going to do what I want and what I'm allowed to do. Thank you.
Jesus Christ. What up, Conk? Listen, I'm not doing this today. I, I am more want, than 10 feet I away. I want you behind my guy. I don't care what you want, Listen, Dillard. Go I want you to stop there. pulling people over with no go reason. Stand down no, there. I'm going to stand here where I'm allowed to. 4 8 to 12. I don't, I don't want you standing behind yeah, him. I don't want you standing behind him. You just uh, come to my stop here. We need more people here. There's a camera. This guy loves stopping people for no reason just to search him. Just to get in their car. Is that, that's a fact. What's the reason for the search, Gillard? Why is the dog here? What traffic stop did they, what traffic infraction did they do that causes the dog? Probably no reason to even have a dog here. Thirsty? I'm gonna tell. I gotta make up stuff. Just tape it. How are you? Listen, I, I'm not right. causing any trouble. I'm not, not doing anything I'm wrong. Fine with that. So here's the deal. What I'm going to do is, obviously you're good to film. I fully understand that. You do your thing. But what I will make a reasonable request, and I have the right to do so, is that you stay behind the, the rear car. What's that reasonable request? That's okay. not reasonable. Yes, it is. No, it's Daniel. not. Daniel? How is that? My camera can't yeah. hear. My microphone can't hear. That's not reasonable. Daniel. There's That's a not reasonable. Danny, there's a safety issue. What is okay. that? What's the issue? The safety issue is that my guys are dealing with traffic. It's got nothing to do with me. Yes, it does. No, it does not. Danny, I'm not going to. I'm proven Danny. fact not to do anything. So it's me a citation and I'll back up. Daniel. That's it's the only be, It's not going to be a citation. So what I'm, are you going to do? You're going to arrest me. You're going to arrest me. It's called interfering with investigation. I'm not interfering. My guys I haven't said anything. Job. No. Danny, back Listen, up. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Daniel, are you refusing the order to back up? I'm, no, okay. I'm doing what I'm allowed guys to do. Can't do their right. job, yes, they, they've been doing their you job the whole time. Camera. Does my microphone have zoom? This is what we deal with in Willimantic, guys. Bunch of tyrants. They can't do their job. They're doing their job just fine. If they can't do their job in public without the public being around, they shouldn't be cops. Plain and simple. What'd they stop you for? They're not being close to a car. And that needed to be searched. Now you need a dog and all that. That's what they're fishing. That's what they always do. Especially this blonde one. He loves stopping people for no reason. This guy's literally the same distance as me, just a different direction, and he's okay. All right, Daniel. So this is what I'm gonna ask you to do then. That cruiser. That's reasonable. No, it's not. All right, type in a warrant, please. Do what you gotta do, bud. Everybody sees it. I haven't interfered yet. You interfered, you loser. You're a fucking bum, dude. You are a bum, Ravella. Come up and shake my hand. You're the fakest cop out here. You're the f you don't give respect because you don't earn respect, you loser. You got to give respect to get it, you clown. No, you lost it, you loser. When you lied about the code where cops don't have to follow the law no matter what, that's when you lost it. When every other cop at the department called you a liar because you made it up, that's when you lost it. Talk about respect. Why are you guys searching this dude's car for following too close? Let's talk about respect. Good job, guys. Good job. Out oh, here doing all this for nothing. Following too closely. I'll have a warrant tomorrow for interfering. Even though I didn't interfere. Huh? I'm definitely telling you, it's not going to go. Well, you should really learn what interfering is so you don't keep wasting your time doing this. Do it. Go ahead. Show us what a great professional cop you are. You fucking loser. You're a loser, bro. You are a loser. You're a loser. You're an active loser. Yeah, you lost that when you lied at the police station and said police don't have to follow the laws. Yeah, you remember that? Yep. Do you remember making that up and lying? Yep. We're gonna agree with you just you, it, it, you don't have to disagree. It's real. And then look, he's going to try and be all cool. Dude ain't no sergeant. He ain't no anything. He's a manager. He's not a captain. He's not a lieutenant. He's a babysitter. 
Babysitter Ravella, 312. He's literally standing there trying to be all friendly. If you give him any bit of information, he's going to take you, slam you on the ground, and arrest you. He is not your friend. Clearly, after what they just did to your vehicle. Acting like he's here to work with you. After he just searched your car for no reason. I'm here to work with you. No way we can like, roll it in there. My nigga can't push it in there. Why not? I'll help him push it. You can help me push it. Yeah, absolutely. Abso I'll help you push it. Yeah, now you're arrested because they searched your car for no reason. Now you're getting arrested because they searched your car for no reason. Oh, man. You guys are a bunch of fucking losers. How do any of you sleep at night? You? Lucier, Gillard, how do you guys sleep at night? Where I want to know where the drugs are. Where are the drugs? You guys, where are the drugs? Where are the drugs? Where are the drugs? Because of the brass knuckles, but no drugs. No reason why they went in the car. So you guys found nothing on the search. No drugs, but you're going to hit them for brass knuckles. Man, must be nice to just be completely wrong, violate somebody's rights. There was no drugs should be void. The reason for going in the car was void. Lucier, where are the drugs? Where are the drugs? Yeah, yep, it was. Because you know why. You know. Because it's a Chrysler, the color of their skin. Where's the drugs, Ravella? Where are the drugs? He's going to give him some bullshit and then he's going to be able to leave out there, right? Where are the drugs, Ravella? Where are the drugs? Where are the drugs? Where are the drugs? No, I, I can follow him. Where are the drugs, Ravella? This guy can walk, but I can't. Come on, grow up, Gillard. You don't fucking tell anybody what to do. I'm not breaking the law. Save it. Where are the drugs? If you can answer that, I'll leave, Gillard. Where were the drugs? Where were they? Where were they? Ravella, where were the drugs? Gillard, you can stop getting in my way. No, can you stay? No. These dudes can stand here, but I can't. Get the fuck away from me. No, they're not. Where are the drugs? No, I, so I am too. Where were the drugs? Where were the drugs? Where were the drugs? Where were the drugs? You don't have to, but you can stop getting in my way and impeding my movement. No, I can walk wherever I want on the sidewalk. Why do you think you could tell me what to do? Because you asked? It doesn't matter what you ask, dude. That costume means nothing to me, bro. I could ask you to do Why didn't you let these dudes go after you found no drugs? Why'd your dogs hit when there was no drugs? Why did the dog hit? Why did the dogs hit with no drugs? Save it. Save it. Save it. Save it. Save it. Obviously not, because you follow me trying to grab my ass. Where were the drugs? Where were the drugs, guys? They are. We say it for the camera. <laughs> right now? <laughs> so it's not gonna be done for like a few hours. Like. Yeah, they're a bunch of clowns, dude. I didn't, I didn't do anything wrong. Yo, yeah. yeah, and there's his car. They locked his car up for following too close. But he said he wasn't, which I completely believe because Gillard's the one that initiated the stop. And Gillard's the one that loves to pull everybody over with no reason. And as we've seen, a following too closely with them turns into a dog and then it turns into your car being searched and then they're taking your car and then they're gonna charge you for whatever they find in your car even though they had no reason or right to be in your car in the first place are we allowed to use our park no no answers are we allowed to use our property she's barricades up for no reason Nobody didn't give me an answer, but if I walk across, they're going to run over here and beat me up. Look at them all. They're just hanging out in the shade. We allowed to use our property? It's just blocked off. Nobody can give an answer. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten cops, and we can't get an answer. This is every public park in, in Willimantic today. They have blocked off in fear that something might happen that we haven't even been able to confirm said happened all because there's a memorial ride coming into Willimantic today 
these guys twisted it into a, a street takeover. So now they, they blocked all of our parks off, all of our cemeteries, pretty much any public hangout they've blocked off on the last nice real holiday weekend of the year. But I don't see how you could take somebody's memorial and just say, oh, it's gonna, they're gonna commit crimes, so we're gonna spend all this money, we're gonna close. As to me, it's about the parks. This is the last really nice holiday weekend we're gonna have, and nobody can go anywhere or do anything in this town. It's literally locked down like Nazi Germany. Everywhere you walk down, everywhere you see that's a public place like this, looks like this. Yo, tell this, this shit's crazy. They shut down all our public parks. You can't go to any public place today. So why does everybody else keep getting to come through? They can go through, exactly. They cannot remain here. You are remaining now. Can you please please so where do I have to go? What's, oh, this is the road. I'm not in the road. I'm gonna give you a local order. So am I allowed to stand right here in this part of the park? I just want to know. I just want to ask, is this okay? It's close. But I do see people walking through, and I only see you fucking with me. But I'm not. I'm under a tree. I'll go. You're a fucking tyrant. Both of you are losers, bro. You're a fucking loser. You're a loser. 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 You're closing off our public property for what? Because you're scared. Because you're scared. Close. Oh, it's Nazi Germany. We're gonna shut down all the public parks. How do you feel about turning a memorial into a, a, a street takeover? How do you feel about criminalizing a memorial? How do you feel like crimi how do you feel about criminalizing a memorial? You're a loser, bro. You're a loser. Both of you go make out in the car. Worst cop in Willimanic, right there. Guy is a criminal. He's a criminal. Hey, Geller! My ride's here, you wanna come scan their plates? You wanna come scan the plates, Giller? She's right here. Come scan them. Come scan the plates, Giller. You clown. Unlock it. You're a clown, bro. I'm here, don't worry about what I'm doing, bro. Don't worry about what I'm doing. Don't worry about what I'm doing. You lick his boots? Huh, you lick his boots? You lick his boots? Coming from the guy that gets down for cops. Oh, come here, officer. Hey, Giller, you wanna scan the plates, bro? They're right here. You don't even know what's going on. Giller, it's right here, bud. Wah, wah. Wah. And is interrupting my investigation to the point where one of the individuals here is now yelling at him. That way. And he's about to leave in a car traveling eastbound on Wyndham Road. Copy. If he's no longer on scene, then we'll disregard. I have uh, this individual here is saying that he was annoying her. Gabby? Or making her uncomfortable. For a, if we see that car, do you want to stop for charges? Yes, please. It's uh, traveling eastbound towards right, Legion Field. One more thing. 8947. Just be advised, he did just call the PD. My partner talked to him. He was asking to speak to supervisors, refusing to come down here. Please wait while I transfer your call. One minute, please dispatch. Hey, I was just wondering, if I get a problem up in uh, North Wyndham or South Wyndham, uh, do you guys have jurisdiction there? No, that's True K. True K, South Wyndham, True K, uh, North Wyndham, True K? Yep. yep. Okay. Uh, well, you want their numbers? Uh, no, but I would like an explanation as to why I see some uh, Willimantic PD officers out here in my town. That's what I was calling and asking. Um, do you have a need to know? Well, yeah. Uh, I'm okay, well, they're doing an investigation of a complaint in Willimantic that draws them into, uh, out into Wyndham, which they're, they're fully able to do. Right, but you just said you guys don't have jurisdiction. That would be state police. Right. The complaint that they're dealing with is within the jurisdiction, which is Willimantic. Their investigation of that complaint is taking Right, yeah, I was following it on the scanner, and that's why I was calling, and then I went and confirmed what was going on in town here, and... Uh, it seems like one of the officers from Willie solicited a complaint from the woman that was on the scene there, uh, from what I've gathered. 
dispatch told this individual to disregard. I've been following this all afternoon. So why are you guys searching houses without warrants in South Wyndham when you don't even have jurisdiction over a complaint that was solicited uh, involving a journalist who was operating lawfully in the confines of the law from the public sidewalk? What are you guys breaking into his girlfriend's house and searching her house for tonight? Hello? Do we have a response to that? Is your is your shift You're supervisor have, yeah, I work, Sir, can I, I speak, work in dispatch. Yeah, can I speak with uh, the I, shift supervisor? A who supervisor? The shift supervisor. The person in charge uh, of all the cops he, on duty tonight. Thank you. I am aware of what he does. You can hold on. 